Good morning viewers. Today I am present before you with the podcast on T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland. In today's podcast, I will be briefly talking about the five sections of this great work. Before I begin the podcast, it is advisable that you keep a notebook and a pen so that you can jot down the important points relating to the particular topic. It is further advisable to use earplugs for listening to the podcast. So here I begin. The wasteland has five sections. Each section embodies a specific perception. The first section, the burial of the dead, is devoted largely to ruminations about spiritual death and the difficulties of rising from it, symbolically in the sense of being spiritually reborn and practically in the sense of gaining insight into the design of reality. Redemption is seen as possible through love, knowledge and faith. These are all means by which spiritual life can be revived and sustained in the face of widespread spiritual death. Because each is an endeavor to transcend the moment through crystallized sensuous intellection. The realization or awareness of such a redemption can only be through perfect understanding. But such understanding itself is not possible except symbolically. A game of chess gives a concrete illustration of the abstract statement on the situation obtaining in the wasteland. This is the second section. The game of chess symbolizes the inhuman abstraction of the modern mind. Life is bereft of meaning and history is shorn of signification. Significance and meaning are neither discovered nor created. The images of life in a rich and magnificent setting and life in the low and vulgar setting of a London pub, however antithetical they may appear, superficially are scenes taken from the contemporary wasteland. In both of them, life has lost its meaning. The third section, entitled The Fire Sermon, is devoted to the contemplation of lust. The invisible protagonist seems to be walking through London on a voyeuristic pilgrimage in a quest of a chapel that is nowhere to be seen. The possibility of redemption has waned extremely faint. The whole panorama permeates with revulsion. The invisible protagonist is the disembodied spirit of the poet himself. His immanent consciousness concretized only transitorily in the figure of Tiresias. In his peregrinations, the invisible protagonist witnesses the slow disintegration of the city, the outward manifestations of spiritual decay that seem to overtake all of Europe consequent upon the utter devastation of World War I. The fourth section, entitled Death by Water, is a contemplation of a spiritual death. As always, the poet projects this contemplation through a larger framework in which the drowned man is also the effigy of the vegetation god cast into water that he may rise in the regeneration of life in the spring. The last section, entitled What the Thunder Said, starkly delineates the myriad portraits of the infernal human condition as Eliot saw them, under the elusive skeleton over which the fabric of poetry is woven is the intense realization of solipsism, defining the human inferno. Human misery arises fundamentally from the insularly nature of the human ego, even though people do interact, each individual is in the innermost riches of his feelings, an island unable to reach into the feelings of others or to have them experience what he or she feels except in flashes which can never be sustained. This lack of empathy reinforces solipsism, and to avert this solipsism, 
the laws of the thunder must be met and that would give significance to life the thunder's triple law give sympathize and self control makes the will more amenable to self abnegation and erodes the insularity of the human ego against the backdrop of infernal visions there is a yearning for all pervasive peace which encompasses all emotions so these are the five sections of the great long poem of t s eliot the wasteland this was a path breaking work of the modern age that talked about the disintegrated values of the modern times and people i hope the podcast proved to be of help to each one of you please leave your observation and questions in the comment section below please do like share and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon for latest update thank you for your valuable time here's wishing you a great day ahead